Keeps me on to everybody. I'm Shantae. And I'm Shantavia. And we are B Love Inc. Thank you for joining us for keeping our word to the word daily Bible reading. Yes, yeah, so for the entire year 2021, we are reading the entire year Bible from beginning to end, from Genesis to Revelation. And today we're reading the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 through 12, New King James Translation. Yes. It is going down. If you are new here and returning and I'm part of the Replay Squad. How you doing? Don't forget to, to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn that notification bell on. Hit it and hit it and hit it. And if you are a Beehive member, thank you. Oh, thank you truly. so much. Thank you so much for sewing into our ministry. Yes. We appreciate it, y'all. And if you would like to donate as well, you can at, at Buy Me a Coffee slash Be Love Inc. Short for Be Love in the name of Okay. And yes, y'all, go get your Keeping Our Words to the Word mug, tea, hats, t-shirts, and more at www.peeloving.com. And y'all already know, uh -huh. before we start, before we do anything, we gotta go into prayer. You ready? I am always ready for prayer, y'all. Let's do this. Ah, dear Heavenly Father, Creator, Heavenly Earth, and the Sea, we come before you right now, Lord God, saying thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And amen. Father, because this is the day that you have made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad in it, God. So hallelujah, Lord God. You deserve the highest praise, Lord God. Thank you, Father, for roofs over our head, closing our back. Food in our bellies, Lord God, but Father, above all things, Lord, we thank you, Father, for you, for being the truth, the way, and the life, Lord God, for being our friend, for being our savior, for being our rock, for being our all. Like your word says, I am who I am, and that's truly who you are, Lord God. So we say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, again for this assignment of keeping our word to the word and reading the entire Bible this year to study to show ourselves approved, Lord God, to seek you first. Your kingdom and your righteousness, Lord God, and everything else will be added on to us, Lord. So we're excited, Father, for what you revealed today to us in your holy word, Lord God. So speak for us, Lord God. Fight for us, Lord God. We are yours. Give us wisdom and revelation, Lord God, of your holy word, Lord God. And we're excited once again. Oh, God, we're excited, Lord. So, Lord Jesus, have your way, Lord. And we also, Father, want to stop and repent, Father, as well, for all of our sins, all of our transgression, Lord God, that we have already committed against you today even down to the unclean thought, Lord God, that was unpleasing in your eyes, Lord God. Help us all, God, to be obedient, Lord God. Like your word says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, Lord God, that then you will hear from heaven, oh God, and if you you say you will hear from heaven and heal the land, Lord. So maybe a mass turning, Lord. So we're excited, Lord God. We love you. We give you all the honor and the glory and the praise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Woo woo. Y'all already know. Peace be on to everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A replay family. How y'all doing today? Y'all ready now. The best part of waking up. Uh huh. Is Jesus in your cup. Yeah. <laughs> y'all know. It's Jesus. 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 It's Jesus for us, y'all. That song I love to say. I love to praise your oh, name. Praise, praise your, your name, Lord name. God. Yeah. I love, Ooh, I love that song as well. But yes, y'all, we are going to continue today. Yes. Once again, in the book of Ezekiel, yes. chapter 9 to 12, New King James translation. If you haven't read it already, go back, <laughs> catch the replay. But y'all, we're going to dive deeper. Let's do this, family. Let's do this. Ezekiel chapter 9. Then he called out in my hearing with a loud voice saying, let those who have charge over this city draw near, each with a deadly weapon in his hand. And suddenly six men came from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with his battle axe in his hand. One man among them was clothed with linen and had a rider inkhorn at his hand. They went ink at his side. They went in and stood beside the bronze altar. 
Now the glory of the Lord God of Israel had gone up from the cherub where it had been to the threshold of the temple. And he called to the man clothed with linen who had the writer inkhorn at his side. And the Lord said to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over the abomination that are done within it. To the others, he said in my hearing, go after him through the city and kill. Do not let your eyes spare, nor have any pity. Utterly slay old and young men, maidens and little children and women, but do not come near anyone on whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the temple. Then he said to them, defile the temple and fill the courts with the slain. Go out. And they went out and killed in the city. So it was that while they were killing them, I was left alone and I fell on my face and cried out and said, ah, Lord God, will you destroy all the remnant of Israel and pouring out your fury on Jerusalem? Then he said to me, the iniquities of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great and the land is full of bloodshed. And the city full of perversity. For they said, the Lord has forsaken the land and the Lord does not see. And as for me also, my eye will neither spare nor will I have pity. But I will recompense their deeds on their own head. Just then the man clothed with linen who had the inkhorn at his side reported back and said, I have done as you commanded me. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 10. And I looked, and there in the remnant that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared something like a sapphire stone, having the appearance of the likeness of a throne. Then he spoke to the man clothed with linen and said, Go in among the wheels under the cherubims. Fill your hands with coals of fire from among the cherubims and scattered them over the city, and he went in as I watched. Now the cherubims were standing on the south side of the temple when the man went in, and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of the Lord went up into the cherubims and poured over the threshold of the temple, and the house was filled with the cloud, and the court was filled of the brightness of the Lord's glory. And the sound of the winds of the cherubim was heard even in the outer courts, that the voice of the Almighty when he speaks, like the voice of the Almighty when he speaks. Then it happened when he commanded the man clothed in linen, saying, Take fire among the wheels from among the cherubims, that they went in and stood beside the wheel. And the cherubim stretched out his hand from among the cherubims to the fire that was among the cherubims. And he took some of it and put it in the hands of the man clothed with linen who took it and went out. The cherubims appeared to have the form of a man's hand under their wings. And when I looked, there were four wheels by the cherubims, one wheel by one cherub and another wheel by each other cherub. The wheel appeared to have a, the color of a burial stone. As for their appearance, all four looked alike, as it were a wheel in the middle of the wheel. When they went, they went towards any of the four directions. They did not turn aside when they went, but followed in direction with their head facing. They did not turn aside when they went, and their whole bodies and their backs, their hands, their wings, and the will that the four had were full of eyes all around. And as for the wheels, they were called in their hearing wheel. Each one had four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub. The second face was the face of a man, the third face of a lion, and the fourth the face of an eagle. And the cherubim was lifted up. This was a living creature I saw by the river Cherbar. When the cherubim went, the wheels went beside them. And when the cherubim lifted her, their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheel also did not turn from beside them. 
When the cherubim stood there, the wheels stood there. And when one was lifted up, the other lifted itself up. For the spirit of the living creature was in them. Then the glory of the Lord departed from the threshold of the temple and stood over the cherubim. And the cherubim lifted their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. When they went out, the wheels were beside them. And he stood at the door of the east gate of the Lord's house. And the glory of the Lord of Israel was above them. This is the living creature I saw under the God of Israel by the river Cherbar. And I knew they were cherubim. Each one had four faces and each one four wings. Like the likeness of the hand of a man was under their wings. And the likeness of the face was the same as the face which I've seen by the river Cherbar. Their appearance and their persons, each, they each went straight forward. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 11. Then the spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of the Lord's house, which faces eastward. And there at the door of the gate were 25 men, among whom I saw Cherenaziah, the son of Ahazah, and Palatiah, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. And he said to me, Son of man, these are the men who divide iniquity and give wicked counsel in the city, who said, The time is not near to build houses. This city is the cauldron, and we are the meat. Therefore, prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. Then the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said to me, Speak. Thus says the Lord, thus you have said, O house of Israel, but I knew, for I know the things that come into your mind. You have multiple, multiplied your slain in this city, and you have filled its streets with the slain. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, your slain whom you have slain is in his midst, and is in his midst. They are the meat, and this city is the cauldron. But I shall bring you out of the midst of it. You have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, says the Lord God. And I will bring you out of his midst, and deliver you into the hands of strangers, and execute judgment on you. You shall fall by the sword, and I will judge you at the border of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. This city shall not be your cauldron, nor shall you be the meat in his midst. I will judge you at the border of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. For you have not walked in my statue, nor executed my judgment. But you have done according to the custom of the Gentile, which are all around you. Now it happened while I was prophesying that Pelatiah, the son of Benaiah, died. Then I fell on my face and cried with a loud voice and said, Ah, Lord God, will you make a complete end of the remnant of Israel? Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, your brethren, your relative, your countrymen, and all the house of Israel is in entirety. And those about whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get far away from the Lord. This land has been given to us as a possession. Therefore says, Therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, Although I have cast them far off among the Gentiles, and although I have scattered them among the country, yet I shall be a little sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the people, assemble you from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they will go there, and they will, and they will take away all its detestable things and all its abomination from them. Then I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within them, and take the stony heart out of their flesh, and give them a heart of flesh, so that they may walk in my statutes and keep my commandment and do them. 
and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. But as for those who heart follow the desires for the detestable things and their abomination, I will recompense their deeds on their own head, says the Lord God. So the cherubim lifted up their wings with the wheels beside them, and the glory of the Lord God of Israel was high above them. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood on the mountain, which is on the east side of the city. Then the Spirit took me up and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God and the Chaldea to those in captivity. And the vision that I had seen went up from me. So I spoke to those in captivity of all the things the Lord has shown me. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 12. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house which have eyes to see, but does not see, and ears to hear, but does not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Therefore, son of man, prepare your belongings for captivity, and go into captivity by day in their sight. You shall go from your place into captivity to another place in their sight. It may be that they will consider, though they are a rebellious house, by day you shall bring out your belongings in their sight, as though going into captivity. And at evening you should go in their sight, like those who go into captivity. Dig through the wall in their sight, and carry your belongings out through it. In their sight you shall bear them on your shoulders, and carry them out at twilight. You shall cover your face, so that you cannot see the ground. For that you cannot see the ground, for I have made you a sign to the house of Israel. So I did as I was commanded. I brought out my belongings by day, as though going into captivity. And at evening, I dug through the wall with my hands. I brought them out at twilight, and I bore them on my shoulders in their sight. And in the morning, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, has not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, said to you, What are you doing? Say to them, thus says the Lord God, their barons, this burden concerned the prince in Jerusalem and all the house of Israel who are among them. Say, I am assigned to you as I have done, so shall it be done to them. They shall be carried away into captivity and the prince who was among them shall bear his belonging on his shoulders at twilight and go out. They shall dig through the wall to carry them out, carry them through it. He shall cover his face so that you cannot see the ground with his eyes. I will also spread my nets over them, and he shall be caught in my snare. I will bring him to Babylon, to the land of the Chaldeans, yet he shall not see it, though he shall die there. I will scatter to every wind all who are around, all who are around him to help him, and all who trot. I will draw out the sword before them. And all of his troops, I will draw out the sword before them. Then they shall say that I am the Lord. When I scattered them among the nation and despised them throughout the countries and dispersed them throughout the countries. But I will spare a few of the men by the sword from famine and from pestilence that they may declare all their abomination among the Gentiles wherever they go. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, eat your bread which quicken, and drink your water with trembling and anxiety. And say to the people of the land, Thus says the Lord God, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the land of Israel, they shall eat their bread with anxiety and drink their water with dread, so that her land may be empty of all who are in it because of the violence of those who dwell in it. Then the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land shall become desolate, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel, which say, The days are prolonged, and every vision fails. Tell them, therefore, Thus says the Lord God, I will lay this proverb to rest. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. 
but say to them, the days are at hand and the fulfillment of every vision for no more shall there be any false vision or flattery divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord. I speak and the word which I speak will come to pass. It will no more be postponed for in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word and perform it, says the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, look, the house of Israel is saying the vision that he sees is for many days from now. And he prophesied of times far off. Therefore, say to them, thus says the Lord God, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the word which I speak will be done, says the Lord. Amen. Says the Lord God. Says the Lord God. Amen. Amen. Woo. Family. God don't play. My words don't come back void, y'all. Y'all heard God, that? God's God word don't come back void. Never, ever. Oh, this was so good. Ooh. And again, <laughs> let us again learn from them, y'all. Learn Please. from the children of Israel. Let's walk in God's statues. Let's walk in his ways. Let's follow his commandments. Yes, yes, Let's yes. seek him first above all things, y'all. God is good, y'all. God yes. is good all the time. And all the time, God, God is, is good. good. So join us tomorrow as we are continuing in God's most holy, precious word. Amen. Amen. And join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily Bible reading as we are keeping our word to the word. Okay. Every day at 8 a.m. because we love the Bible and you love the Bible. Don't forget to tell a friend. To tell another friend. To grab some friends to come on over. Come on over, baby, to daily Bible reading. Daily Bible reading. Every day at 8 a.m. And y'all already know. Yes. We are going to go into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come before you, Lord God, just saying thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For allowing us to read these four powerful, yes. powerful chapters, yes. Lord God. Lord God, if I thank you, Father, for allowing us all to read it, Father, mm. because you know how we say, be love loved you, but if people don't know who you are, these chapters will show them, Lord God, Amen. because you are, you, your word cannot come back void. Never. Your word cannot be postponed. Whatever you say shall happen, Lord God. Amen. And thank you, Father, for allowing us to read about your character and how loving, how merciful you are, Father. Yes, Lord. And Lord God, we thank you, Father, for this assignment. Yes. We continue to study to show ourselves the proof, Lord God. Yes, Lord. So which scripture you want us to hide in our heart, Father, because we want to walk in obedience. We don't want to walk in disobedience and be a rebellious house. No, no Father, we want to no, be Lord. obedient, Lord God. So, Father, we just pray for help in all areas of our life, yes, Father. Yes, Lord. We repent, Father, for not walking in obedience. And if we're doing anything that's not pleasing in your eyes, Father, please forgive us, Lord God. Yes, 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 yes. Please yes, forgive, yes, us, yes. forgive us, Lord God. Yes. Forgive us, Lord God, and help us, Lord God. Amen. Because we want to do a turning and not continue to say, sorry, Lord God, and sorry, Lord God. But when you say to repent, it's going to be a turning away, Father. Amen. So, Lord God, help us to continue to turn away, to turn away and stop doing the sin that is not pleasing in your eye, Father. Yes, We Lord. need your help. And we thank you, Father, for sending the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for giving us a new heart. Not a stony heart, but a heart of flesh, Father. Amen. We thank you, Father, for the renewing that you're doing in our heart yes. each and every day, Lord God. Yes, we Lord. We thank you, Father, for how you continue to work on us and work on our will, like all everything, working it out, Father, because we want to glorify you, Father. Amen. We don't live this life for ourselves. We live it for you, Father. We yes. are on an assignment, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, for the purpose that you have placed on all all of our life, Father. Yes, and Lord. And Lord God, we pray for all those on the live. Yes. All those that shall watch the replay. All those in Clubby House House. For, for blessing. blessing. Overflow. Covering. Deliverance. Breakthrough. Salvation, In Lord the God. name of Jesus. Obedience. I'm going to continue to say that, Lord. Let us, Lord God, to remember that obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, Lord. And we need to be obedient. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I'm also pitch you thinking, first, Lord. We need to put you first above all things, Amen. Father. Amen. And Lord God, we speak to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day that you allow us all to see father that today will be a peaceful joyous and righteous day lord god have, have your way. way and christ holy name that we do pray amen 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 amen, amen. 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 Woo -woo. Y'all already know. and if you don't know now you know the love loves you but who loves you more jesus and don't you forget it and we're gonna see y'all hey Mama, yes, we are. Gonna see Woo -woo. Bye, y'all. love y'all